what we need to do is to provide some cooling for these two chips. Um, these are the main processors for the board and get a bit warm. I've used some acetate, which you can just about see here, in order to provide a template um, to cover the chips and also to raise above onto the expansion pack and over to the back of the unit for the cooling. This is a piece of copper which I've marked out for the planning over the chips, over the top and along the cartridge area. This part will be exposed and will uh, allow for the external cooling. This is the last part of the cut. Um, this is 0.9mm thick copper and if you're very very careful you can just slice it straight through down to the bottom and uh, cut it through. That's what I'm going to do now. As always, make very sh very sure exactly where your fingers are when you do this. That's more than capable of cutting your finger off. But these are diamond uh, edged disc cutters, which are really really handy for cutting through boards and through metal. The edges here are extremely sharp. Um, also, there's little pieces of metal sticking out. Good idea, therefore, to use one of these grinding wheels in order to smooth this down. For one thing, you could stop any shorts, and secondly, you're not going to cut yourself when you're using the metal. To secure the heat sink in place, use the gunk from the back of the original N64 heat sinks. It's a nice little rubber. Peel it off gently, stick it in place on top of the existing chips. Then, put this on the top, making sure <coughs> it doesn't contact anything it shouldn't do, press in place. All we then need to do is to secure the metal onto the board, and a good process of doing that will be to stretch some wires across and then hot glue those into position. It also means of course if we need to do any modifications to this in the future it's very easy to remove this again. But as you see this all makes very good contact. It literally just needs a little bit of extra support to keep it in place. Right the heat sink is in place and to keep it in position I've used some wires which are stretched across the plate and secured by hot glue. And that will just keep it in position so that um, when the metal gets warm and the pad loses their ad adhesive quality, the pad will still keep pressed against them in order to provide the heat transfer. For purpose of stress test, I've been running Donkey Kong now for um, coming up to 25 minutes. And please report this copper plate, although it's a little warm, it's certainly not hot. Um, with the copper plate on the top of here, which should be exposed to the to the air, uh, I feel quite confident I won't need to use an ISO fan. It's quite a big piece of copper after all, it seems to be doing the job very well. <laughs>